Scott, we have made stone tools. We've made fire. What's the other technology that we need to know? We need something to tie it all together, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do cordage. In the realm of traditional, early, primitive, whatever you want to call it, technology, when we start talking about any of this stuff, cordage is one of those things that forms the third leg of that, that technological tripod. We've got sharp things, which we know we need. Mm -hmm. We know we sharp need some things. fire. But sometimes you need something to tie your stuff up with, strips of animal hide, things with leathery leaves like this yucca leaf right here. Other things, strips of tree bark from different uh, kinds of trees can be used to tie things together as is. But you know, a lot of this stuff is pretty finite in its length. Mm. But if you needed it and you didn't know anything differently, that might work just fine. We might figure out that you can twist things and make them stronger and less likely than a flat thing to cut itself into, like ribbon sometimes mm -hmm. does when you're wrapping a package. So that gives it strength. And as people start doing this, or our ancestors begin to do this, some interesting things begin to happen, that if you twist these things just so tightly, an interesting thing occurs where they will try to wrap around each uh -huh. other. Yeah. This is this is the Zen lesson of cordage right there. That once you convince two things they want to stay wrapped around each other, you can begin to make real rope, string, and other stuff that falls into that broad category of cordage. So we could keep doing this and make some rope this way, but that's going to be kind of awkward. I don't do that very often. I typically make it one strand at a time, and there are other methods of like leg rolling both mm. of them to create tension. If you look at old National Geographic videos, and I'm sure there's lots of stuff on YouTube, but you can make cordage by convincing two or more elements or plies. This stuff has a lot of terminology borrowed from the, the fiber craft mm. folks. So we can make rope look and cordage that. that looks just like- Look at that. Rope and cordage, yeah. yeah. So that's that. Now that was a leaf. Before. It was a leaf, and now we could theoretically add on. It gets thicker here and uh -huh. thinner there, so we'd have to do some things. But uh, the scary part about cordage is you are totally in control, so it's a scary place to be. All right, materials you can use. I mentioned leathery things like yucca. Uh -huh. I mentioned tree bark, and there are other things as well. Some weeds, some weedy little plants have a sheath on the outside, much like bark, uh -huh. that can be used. This is a, a plant called dogbane. It's, uh, it's medicinal or toxic, mm -hmm. depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Resembling milkweed superficially because it has a latex sap and opposite leaves. But dogbane, the uh, uh, exterior of the dogbane stem has this really silky, mm. super strong fiber. Twist that up just a little bit and see how strong that fiber is. You know, I mean, don't cut your fingers because you're going to have to really pull if you're going to break that at all. And look at that. That just... Yeah. And strength. Yeah. 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 Right on it. And, and so these are all plant products, but, but animal products too, right? Animal products work too, but, you know, this, it's a little Tarzanish sometimes. People think that everything is like done with, uh, you know, shoelaces, leather shoelaces or something mm -hmm. like that. And when you look around the world... Plant parts seem to have a lot of traction in terms of fiber craft. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can use wool and, and animal hair. You can cut strips of skin and sinew out of the mm -hmm. back. Um, butchered a deer with stone tools this past weekend and got the sinew out of the, the back and the legs from that. Um, but plant fibers don't run away from you. That's one of the great <laughs> beauties of it is you can just go get them like you want them. So how's that looking? It's looking Pull on it good. good. Give it a tug. I'm pretty well tell you, you're not going to break that. No, I'm That's not. No. Dog band is one of the strongest North American fibers, Look as far that. as I can tell. Uh, so that's a plant stalk fiber. Uh -huh. That's that's good. Uh, and there are many things you can make it out of. You can make it out of tree bark, but sometimes the tree bark, it depends on the tree. Some trees have fibrous bark, some do not. The ones with the fibrous bark can be soaked in water and allowed to partially decay. Another uh, term borrowed from the fiber folks is... Uh, 
the notion of retting, R-E-T-T-I-N-G, mm -hmm. which is sort of closely akin to rotting. You're trying to sort of let this decay in a way that the growth layers of that bark begin to peel apart into mm -hmm. this fiber stuff. You can tear out those layers and turn those into cord. Now, pop wow. them. That's sort of opposite what you, you, you wouldn't, you'd want to think uh, that you'd want fresh, fresh, you know, right, fresh, fresh bark. bark but, that's right. But, yeah. But it actually, it's the opposite. Vin vintage huh? bark vintage is a good bark. thing to have. Yeah. Uh, Curated bark. Yes. So this is tulip poplar. It's not super strong. It's not strong like that. But you have lots and lots of tulip or yellow poplar here in the southeast, which makes pretty good overall quality utility cordage. And then again, we have leathery leaves like yucca and other things that mm -hmm. can be turned into suitable cordage. All right. So. Like I said, there are many different things. This is a little display I've had for years, and uh, and if you see me set up somewhere doing a talk, I will a lot of times have this with me, but this has a number of different materials, and I really like it because it gives people an opportunity to kind of feel the texture of the mm. different fibers that we have. We have cattail leaves, yucca leaves. Uh, Spanish moss is kind of an odd outlier in that it's not a leaf, it's not a weed stalk, and it's not bark. It's an entire plant, and on the inside of that Spanish moss plant, you have this little wiry core that can be used. So you're sort of using the entire plant once that gray exterior dries mm -hmm. and crumbles off. So you can make that. People get worried about the chiggers and everything, but I say if you get your Spanish moss out of a tree, that chigger would have had to have packed a lunch yeah. before it's going to get anything to eat. Don't pick it up off the ground because that's where they're at. But you can take that and turn that into cordage. So we can start with, let's start with a basic yucca leaf. I like yucca as a okay. beginning material. This is, uh, these are some young leaves here that kind of died prematurely. Mm -hmm. And an interesting thing began to happen to them. They began to ret themselves, just the natural moisture in the plant made it so that they're trying to come apart. And you oh, see that yeah. being kind of, you know, lily, they, they change the family on me periodically uh, to a, a agave CA. Mm -hmm. but, uh, mostly, you know, old botanists refer to it as a lily family member. And like agave and some of these other things, it has this very sisal like property to the string. Like I say, it gets fat at one end, so you might have to trim off a little from mm -hmm. one end. If you go into the skinny end when you're making your string, you might have to add some there. So let's start with some of these. Uh, I start with okay. most materials by simply rubbing them between my hands to kind of clean them up a little bit. Now that one's kind of rotten in too, so we're not going to use that one. Okay. Uh, take a few of these and few I want you to... All right. I'm going to rub up a couple. Yeah, it's going to rub up and down this thing, and you'll notice that it really limbers it up and gets rid of all the... Okay, one at a time. Though. Yeah, one at a time, preferably, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can feel it loosening. Yeah, it's a little more limber there when you do that. I see. It's not... Do I pull it? Pull it apart? Oh, uh, you can... A little bit. Yeah, you can strip it apart if you want to. It's all going to go back together later anyway. Now the thick end down here, you might want to trim that off because it's going to be hard to make anything happen with that. That's going to be hard to make cordage out of there. So you can take something and a little bit of a, a flake, flake that yep, we made. Find yourself a conveniently located knife. All right. Cut it off. Get one limbered up good. We can always work from there. So when you start making cordage. Anticipate that unless you start out with something exactly the right length mm -hmm. of uh, for what you want to do, you're going to end up splicing this, okay. up, adding something into it to make it longer. So what I do to keep from putting two splices directly on top of each other, making mm -hmm. kind of a big fat place in my rope unnecessarily, I fold the two legs or two parts of the starting material into unequal portions okay. right there, about like that. All right. That's good. Just, just make a little, kind of twist it up a little bit and make your little bundle out of it. Right. Like this? Yeah, you need to look kind of like, yeah. Or do I need to eh, do this? I think you're good. Treat them like one thing. Okay. Which, there we one go. One thing. All right. All right. There we now, go. Fold it in half unequally. I guess it's not really it halves half. if it's unequal. So yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, what I want you to do is kind of lay it on your knee right okay. here. And you're kind of making this V-shaped thing that sticks out right. to your right right there. 
This works in mirror reverse. This is sort of important because there's many, there are many, many ways of uh, working cordage into, or working fiber into cordage. But we're going to start with the one laying closest to your knee. Take that about a quarter of an inch from where you're pinching it with your left hand thumb mm -hmm. and twist. This is uh, what I call the start your car motion right there. Right. Basically, it's like hitting your ignition switch. All you want to do is grab it kind of close, twist it to create some tension in it. And then you pull it over the other piece to make that little starting loop. Okay? okay. And then pinch that. All right. All right. Now, the piece that was on the inside, now on the outside, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Grab it and do the same thing to it. Twist it, pull it over. You only have to hold the last place you pull over because the rest of it, you could have 100 feet of this cordage over here and it, it's going nowhere. Okay. And this is a repetitive process. So I need to just keep doing it. Keep doing. Yep. Every time you pull one over. Now, a trick is to, when you twist and you pull it over, I use the backs of these fingers to kind mm -hmm. of push the other one up into place and get it out of my way. Twist, pull over. And if you do this for a while, you will begin to develop a rhythm and you notice that your cordage becomes much more uniform. That's looking pretty good. Let's see what you're doing. Let me, I was doing mine, so that looks good. All right, now you're coming up on the end of yours. Okay. So let's, yeah. uh, let's uh, take this, let's back up just a bit. Okay. Um, all right, so that one's getting thicker. You could manage to trim out, given the diameter of your cordage, I think we could manage to trim out one of these, trim that one, I think. Cut, cut that one off kind of close. Cut, cut yeah. that one off yeah, close? Get you, okay. get you a flake and... Uh, Let's see. I think there's a... I'm pretty sure there's a flake somewhere down here. Oh, yeah, see. there. <laughs> I'll see if I can... And, you know, you look at string, and it looks pretty easy, but then you start trying oh, to twist cut, it up. That and, cut quite nicely. Oh, good, 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 good. There All right, go. so now we're just going to leave that one hanging up there with the others. Um, so you're at a point where you could, you could splice. Mm -hmm. All right, so what you want to do, take another yucca leaf. Okay. And because right, these are, this, yeah, these are tapered, one. I believe what I would do is come down to about right here. You want to leave a little bit sticking out alongside the finished cordage there. Uh -huh. And people get really worked up about splicing. They go, oh, how do I do this? And I go, well, you just put it alongside the short end. Put your new piece up there, uh -huh. twist it. Treat it as one thing and act like nothing happened. And then the next time you twist the other piece, it locks it down. It's like the, uh, the little finger trap handcuff mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you make a, if you have a decent splice, you will have no problems with it coming undone because it will simply get tighter the more you pull. So keep working on that. We're okay. in a twist, pull, twist, pull. Now, this is simple two-ply quarters that we're making. Uh-huh. So you could do more. You can do more. There are a couple of things we'll talk about here that are kind of uh, relevant to our, our process. Well, you can do as many plies as you can keep up with, which for me ends up being about three. Mm. Uh, you make three-ply cordage. And three-ply, just to sort of demonstrate, it might be a little ahead of where we are with this project, but... Uh, you twist and pull over the other two, two. previous okay. ones, and that creates three-ply cordage. Now, if that proves too hard, once you have two-ply cordage down, you'll notice on the board some of this stuff looks almost braided or plaited. Uh -huh. And that's because you can take simple two-ply cordage and you can make cordage from cordage by folding it back over and then twisting the opposite direction. So there's a lot of things. You could do a, a you could probably do a three day video <laughs> on cordage, uh, especially if you get me wound up about it. But there are many, well, many Wound ways. up? Wound up, boom. Yep, yep. Yeah. So that's a little, a little swatch of three ply there. And that is how we do cordage. Great. Look, I think I, I you got did it. it a little bit. You yeah. did. You even got better. All that's right. a, that's a, <laughs> <laughs> when you get better at it, you're doing good. Thanks, so, Scott. You're welcome, man. Awesome. Good to it. Good to do it.